If you'd like to know how to temporarily avoid a Sims 4 game update and you use the EA app, you've come to the right place. Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my Sims 4 tutorial video. I'm also going to explain a couple of reasons why you might want to temporarily avoid a game update. So first off, you're going to have to open up the EA app and then you're going to go in this top left hand corner. I play on Windows, so I see three lines there. It may look a little different on Mac, but it will still be in the same place going to select it and then you're going to go into this settings section. In the settings section you want to go to this download tab and in there near the bottom you can see that there's this section that says updates and so this one that says update games automatically you want this little toggle to be to the left. If it's on the right it'll be blue like it's showing here and that means your game is going to automatically update. I don't want mine to automatically update, so I'm going to leave the toggle on the left. So that means that when you go into the EA app, the game won't update automatically. However, we're going to go over to that spot and there is no update right now. So it's currently letting me play the game even though I'm online. If there is a game update, this play button will change to update required. So if you want to stay online, you will have to select update to update it now to be able to play online. However, you don't have to update the game if you go offline. So you can still play the game when there's an update by avoiding it by going back to these top three corners lines there. And you're going to say go offline. And then you're going to get this message. Are you sure you want to go offline? And you're going to say, yes, I'm sure. And it brings you up to this you're in offline mode. So just a note, I'm able to play in offline mode, but I actually had to be online to open up the EA app and then I could go offline. So this isn't something you can use for being disconnected to the internet full stop. You still need a connection to get into it. If you had left it open in offline mode, then you could continue to play. So two reasons you might want to avoid a game update. The main one that most people think about is that you play with mods and custom content and a lot of game updates break mods and custom content or some of them and you may want to wait until those have been updated or you've heard that they're cleared before you update your game so that you have like either the updated versions or your mods or custom content are cleared. The other reason even if you don't use mods and custom content is sometimes a game update itself can cause issues with the game and you may want to avoid updating your game so that you don't have don't experience those issues. A lot of times if they're that big of an issue, EA will do like an emergency update. And then once you see that everything's cleared with the emergency update, then at that point you might want to update your game. And if that's the case, when you go and update your game later, you'll get one update. It'll come to you all at once. You won't actually have to do it twice, just as a point. Now, another thing to note is that when you're playing an offline mode and you are going to hit here and hit play, when you get into your main menu, you will see a screen that doesn't look the same as usual. You don't have any of the sort of advertisements and news that you normally will get. The other things is even though it says here to explore the gallery, you need to be connected and you can't actually connect when your EA app is offline. So you really only have the option of staying offline. The same thing here, if you select the gallery here, it will bring you into your library. And if you try to go to the gallery, it'll say the same thing. And if you try to go to your actual tab where your things are on the gallery, it's on the gallery, it also won't show. So those are a couple things to consider when you're trying to play offline. So let me know if you found this helpful. I'd love to know in a comment down below, but that's going to be it for this video. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.